Hi everybody, I'm Chris Stevenson. I'm your host here on Calaveras Public Access TV on Inside View. And uh, I've only been a host here for a year or so, so you may have seen me, but if you've been around for a while, you might have remembered my guest today, Kathy Massaferro, who was a host here on Public Access TV a few years back. But now you're doing something different now. You, she is the executive director of the Calaveras um, uh, County Cal Arts Council. Thank you very much. You're Calaveras welcome. Calaveras County Arts Council. So welcome back to the studio. How does Thank it feel? Thank you. Like home. You're on the wrong side of the table I know. It does feel now. strange to be yeah. on this side of the table. Um, I'm trying to remember. It was eight years and 300 and like 350, 360 shows before um, I moved to the Bay Area. Um, and that's, golly, that was in 2010. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a little while. I've come back a couple of times, but it's been a little while. Terrific. I mentioned that I've only lived here for a number of years, like maybe eight years. And I can remember when I first moved to Calaveras County, I was super impressed by the music scene that I found here. There was always music in the park, in the clubs, you know, just in people's homes. I, I can remember once I, w I was outside my house in Forest Meadows and I could hear in the distance a crowd of people singing Bohemian Rhapsody and it was from Bryce Station. They were having a concert and that's typical of the California lifestyle that we have here and, and a lot of that is thanks to you and the Calaveras Arts Council doing music in the park. Yes, so, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 20, oh, almost 30 years now. 30 years ago, music in the parks was the only game in town when it came to consistent live performances here in Calaveras County. Um, but it was what kicked it off and started it. And music in the parks, as you know, we do 10, sh 10 concerts. 10 different locations, a different Wednesday night every night during the summer. And from that, from that little seed blossomed all sorts of wonderful musical opportunities for the citizens and musicians of Calaveras County. Mm -hmm. COVID put a real damper on music in the park though last year, didn't it? How were we looking for the future? Well, in the, in the first year of COVID, absolutely, it completely crushed it. Um, that was... Crushed what? is a good word for it, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah, really is, sadly. because we had no choice. Yeah. We had no workable alternative, as I like to say. Um, so that was in, two, yeah, in 220, so we didn't have music in the parks. We had just barely finished the first two of the Ovations concerts for 2020 when COVID hit, and we had to cancel the last two Ovations and all of music in the parks that summer. But we told the musicians, just hang on, because when we come back, your week and your venue are guaranteed. We will honor the contracts we have with you, and that's what we did this summer. Good. So the future is bright for 2022, then? It's very bright. Good. The concert series we had with Music in the Park this summer was one of the most successful we've had for years. Mm -hmm. Um, I like to think part of it is part of it is because of the quality of the music. Part of it is because everybody wanted to get out of the house and they had somewhere to go and somewhere happy to be and they yeah. could be around their friends and neighbors. But the other part I I, I really do believe is because you know the song um, Lord, it always seems to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone. And they had been able to just kind of skate by and Oh, yeah, music yeah. in the parks is there. Oh, well, maybe I'll go next week. And then all of a sudden, it wasn't there at all. And they realized, they being our public, just how much they mm -hmm. missed it. You have a decent voice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, yeah. Do you have a, 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 a background in performing arts? Because I, I, I get this sense that performing arts, is that's your baby. And that's what you really love. That's Not to yeah. the dis, you know, exclusion of other types of arts, but performing arts is big in Calabarese County. Well, performing arts is my... is. It's second only to my daughter's, as far as what I cherish the most. Um, I'm not a painter. I'm not a sculptor. That is not my, what do they say, wheelhouse. Um, but the performing arts is everything I love. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, on a, we've done shows here before 
about a group I helped put together called Sea Stars, Calaveras Sings Theater Arts Repertory for Kids. And we've been doing two full Broadway shows for kids since the summer of 2009. Now, uh, and we'll get off of this back to the Arts Council very quickly, but um, we weren't able to do Sea Stars either because we have, we are an inclusive organization. We had 80 children in our last show. We did um, Sondheim's oh, nice. Into the Woods. And we were looking forward to the summer of 20, and COVID just killed it. So we're hopeful that Sea Stars will be back in the summer of 22, because we can't do Sea Stars until we can rent the, uh, the school facilities again, the theater and the multipurpose room, that sort of thing. COVID, yeah. COVID crushed it, as you might say. Yeah, it I did. I heard word on the street is that you're very good with kids. I so you must really be looking forward to getting back out there with Sea Stars again. I am, yeah. and I, I've been very fortunate in that. And thank you, by the way. That's nice to know. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't had to give it up completely because um, during the first the school year of COVID, the first school year, um, I had been teaching drama workshops at Mountain Oaks, and we figured out a way to do it on Zoom. And so we had drama workshops on Zoom, and this last September, when school resumed in person, we picked it back up and did drama workshops at Mountain Oaks. And I have uh, the opportunity to direct a small children's production of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, not to be confused with the musical, mm -hmm. um, for um, the, fourth, the Fourth Wall Theater Company here at the Met in San Andreas. Oh, sweet. So, yeah. I love my kids. Yeah. Tell me, all right. So you've got us on the subject of arts and education. And mm -hmm. we've heard so many times over the years that it's getting pushed out. It's being cut. There's not funding for it uh, to the exclusion of, you know, other things. And so mm -hmm. I, I don't have kids anymore in school. So what is the state of art education in our public schools? Well, I can't speak for another county, but I can tell you in Calaveras County, it's very cherished. It's very um, protected. Uh, both schools now have full state-of-the-art theaters for at the high schools, and it's been my experience that all you have to do is tell is reach out to the parents, and you're always going to have that core that say we can do this. Um, and then the Calaveras County Arts Council has a specific fundraiser, and we call it Ride and Walk for Art, every every March, and every dime, all of the money we raise is earmarked to help support all of the arts programs at our public schools. So um, we provide matching grants. Uh, for example, let's say San Andreas Elementary wanted to bring up a group like B Street Theater because they have a little traveling children's theater. Um, and it costs $1,000 and their PTO can come up with five. Well, we'll come in and match the other $500 and we do it for performing arts, we do it for um, visual arts, if you've got teachers who are available to go in and teach uh, different arts programs within the schools, we can help you out financially. And every March, and, and we're bringing it back this year, knock wood, yep. uh, every March we provide an art show called Art Spirit that uh, all of the art created by local high school students is in the gallery. It's their show. And we have an opening reception. We have um, it juried. There are prizes for our artists. And then we'll have a closing reception as well. And you get to see all the incredible talent that the kids at all of our high schools, you know, Mountain Oaks, Homeschool, Calaveras, John Vieira, Gold Strike, Cal um, Bret Hart, we reach out to all of those students and have a full art show for them. All right, Ride in Art for Walk really sounded intriguing to me. Tell me more, a little bit more about that. Is as I understand it, sadly I haven't gone, but it's you can either ride your bike or you can walk, perhaps run. And is it in the Valley Springs area? Yes, it is. March twentieth, as I recall. That's correct. And you have a website specifically for that it's on the web it's on our website uh, and then you can click and, and go on over and yeah there is a website specifically for that 
um, our chairperson, Rob Williams, does a fantastic job mm -hmm. of bringing together bike riders. They are, I'm just in awe of them because I'm doing good to do the walk. This year we've got three rides and it's like 45, 75, and 100 miles on these bikes. And they go all the way out, all over the lakes, and they go through Amador County. And, and you know, I want to thank both the, the Board of Supervisors from Amador County and Calaveras and their planning departments because they're so cooperative in helping us put this all together. Because imagine, you've got all these people on bicycles. I was going to say bikers, and that's the yeah. wrong image. <laughs> Zooming through the county. Bikers are cool, too. Yes, they are. <laughs> but they're not part of this. And then yeah. we, we're planning, we're hoping, uh, as long as COVID doesn't rear its ugly head back to the level it was, we have a walk from the observation point at New Hogan Reservoir, and we have a walk that goes out two miles and comes back two miles for people who want to take advantage. It should be gorgeous this year with all the, the you know, the green and the, and the poppies, yes. et cetera. All right, that's going to be me. My, my wife and I, I'm <laughs> telling you now, we're going to register. <laughs> right there with you. Because you have to register for this thing and, you know, and pay your little fee. You get a, maybe a, you, you get a little yes, tchotchke you, or yeah, something there's, along the way. Well, you get food. lunch. Oh, lunch. There you go. You, you get, get lunch. Yes, We've got chicken in the barrel planned. Sweet. So we've got a, f oh yeah, we've got, we've got the best volunteers. They're uh -huh. just amazing. Um, and so we've got, we've got lunch. Um, we'll have some sort of little tchotchke, you know, bringing, bringing it back. But the, the main thing is all of the, the bicyclists get together at like six o'clock in the morning and they yeah. take off and, and they, they ride their bikes all the way over to the other side of Comanche mm -hmm. and Buena Vista and, and the Harris Casino um, outside of Buena Vista is opening their doors so that you can use the, the bathroom facility, etc. Um, and we raised, we raised close to $6,000 two years ago. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to double it. Yes, we should double it. Yeah, yeah. we should. All right, you, you know, I, I don't mind giving money to, like, for a library fine because mm -hmm. it's for a library. Right. I don't mind paying the entry fee to a national park. It's a national park. I will give money to arts anytime yeah. so you're, you're gonna get a little bit of wine <laughs> awesome so tell people also where the gallery is in san andreas the gallery is located on old main street right down the street from the highway so you've got goonies on one side and the chamber of commerce on the other side so you turn down 22 north main street and we're right across the street from the calaveras enterprise right up the street from the Calaveras County Museum. And next door is this really cute new little shop called, it's, what is it? It's something about succulents, because it's yes. all about plants and, and, and it's just adorable. Yes. So that's where we're at. Excellent. All right, so we, we touched on a couple of things that you do as the Executive Director of the Arts Council, but there's mm -hmm. a lot more. I mean, I, was, I do a little research before I come in to talk to the guests. It's amazing how many things there are, and we barely touched on ovations. So right. tell us more about that. Well, ovations is um, uh, performing artists of a, of a different genre in the sense that music in the parks, they're all really good musicians, and uh, they practice a lot, they're professionals, but they don't do gigs like music in the parks to make a living. The musicians for ovations are on a higher professional level, and that's what they do. They, um, we have them coming in from all over California, or and they're out on tour while they're, you know, they put Angel's Camp, or in this case, Murphy's, mm -hmm. because ordinarily we would do the Ovations Performing Arts programs at the theater at Bret Hart. Can't do it. The oh. schools are not allowed to rent out facilities for non-school events, but... We have Ironstone Vineyards and their beautiful Al Alhambra music room downstairs where the big organ is. Mm -hmm. uh, we've hired Sound Extreme to come in and do sound and lights. And I don't know when this show's airing, but Sunday, December 5th, we're going to kick off the holiday season with um, the Celtic group, The Golden Bow, and they're going to bring the Celtic Christmas to Ironstone Vineyards, and we're going to include a champagne reception. So ordinarily it costs $25 a ticket. 
This will cost 50, but you get champagne, you get you get hors d'oeuvres, and you get the the uh, concert there at Ironstone. And then we have four program four concerts lined up for January through April. They're always on a Sunday. They're always at three o'clock. We've got the John Jorgensen String Quintet. Um, we've got Alistair Frazier and Natalie. Slipped my mind. It's all on the website, though. It's right? all on the website. <laughs> yes. yes. Which is calvisarts.org. Org. Yeah. So you can go there and get tickets. Can you? Do you it there? the tickets are closed for this the December fifth concert. And the tickets for the shows in, starting in January will go on sale in about mid-December. So you got to be quick around here, don't you? Well, the reason, oh. yes, sort of. The reason we closed it off is uh, we want to keep everybody healthy. So we're closing it at 150 tickets. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're doing one paired with a champagne reception, you've got to give the caterer time to go, okay, so we're dealing with this many people and cut mm -hmm. it off. You will have a bigger window of opportunity to buy tickets to the Ovations concerts in January through April. That's very impressive. You, you, you bit off a lot to chew right there putting this thing together. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Wish, yeah, it's going to be great. So, yes, it is. Yes, I wish you luck. Another thing that you do that I, I'm more intimately familiar with. Yes. Because, all right, full disclosure here, my wife is an artist. A very good one, I might <laughs> add. Really talented. I have some of her artwork. Uh, is the the artist studio tour yes. yes that's one of your babies too and i love to do this every year and this year all right so the artist studio tour is where artists open up their studios that's correct for the public to come in and talk to the artists look at their things you know talk art it's great mm -hmm. yeah unfortunately this year i was stuck in my wife's studio with her and i couldn't get out and see everyone else's studio which mm -hmm. what well, it was a bummer but so, but still, it was a wildly successful program, and it is every year. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, um, and some of the studios are not open to the public at any other point in the year, and we create uh, maps, brochures. So it's a self-guided tour. It doesn't cost the public anything, um, and we're grateful to have the opportunity to promote the artists and give them a chance to pull in. A bigger crowd and sell more of their artwork. You can go someplace like Quile Kilns. Um, you can go to Petroglyph in Mokill. We we cover the county and encourage artists to join us. They they pay a fee, but that's only so that we can cover the costs of the brochures, etc. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of our fiscal goals is to make sure that our programs pay for themselves mm -hmm. and. That way, we're less vulnerable to the whims of the state. Yeah. <laughs> and as, as the person that writes the check for my wife's little art business, I can tell you that it's not prohibitively expensive. This no. is totally affordable. If you're an artist and you want to get involved in the artist studio tour, yeah, it's totally easy and fun. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and it's, a, it's a beautiful map and brochure that you make. That, and, uh, and you see these all over the county, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and people really respond to it. And it's so very impressive. You mentioned um, um, uh, Petroglyph and, right. and, and there's some and other. Quile kilns, and Quile Kilns. Oh, so. What a facility they have out there. Absolutely. Quile, uh, Pam Quile. Um, but there also is Art on Main that people can go to. In, That's in, oh, in, yeah. In Murphy's Absolutely. And that sort of thing. Um, and we have also uh, art shows that are in the area that may, may not necessarily be under your umbrella, but you want to you want to encourage all art for everyone. Like Art of Bear Valley does an, a, a nice show every year. Absolutely. Yeah. And we, we really encourage those organizations, contact us. Let us help get the word out. We'll put you on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We don't tweet. Uh, that was the Twi correct term. Good well, job. yeah, because yeah. Twitter's just too mean. But we'll do Instagram, and we'll do Facebook, um, and we're always mm -hmm. happy to help get the word out. We'll put your posters up in our windows. Mm -hmm. uh, anything we can do to promote the arts in whatever mm -hmm. medium. I'd also heard that you will help facilitate artists getting their work into local businesses. We're working on it. Okay. We're working it's on it. It's a great idea. It's a great <laughs> idea. Um, right now, we, we, you know, we have our own gallery shows, and we always welcome artists of all levels of experience 
in December, as we're taping this, our show is One of a Kind Gifts of Art. So people can come into San Andreas and shop local, mm -hmm. not have to worry about supply chains. Mm -hmm. And even more, it's like this beautiful necklace was made uh, by one of our artists. And we've got jewelry and paintings and ceramic ware. We've got, um, in fact, I love your wife's little piggy banks. They're <laughs> just the best. Thank you. They're fun. They are fun. Yeah. And so that show will be up all the way through January. Mm -hmm. And you can come in and shop and buy something that nobody else is going to give as a Christmas present. Mm -hmm. It's literally one of a kind. Yes. And I can tell you from my personal experience watching artists, I'm not an artist personally myself, but they put in so much mm -hmm. time and effort into each of these little pieces. And if, if, if you calculated what they make per hour... You have to love what you sad. do. <laughs> you have to love it. It's so certainly, you, get, yeah. you get such value for what you buy in a mm -hmm. place like the Art Gallery for the Arts Council, which mm -hmm. is in downtown San Andreas. That's correct. Yes. And then we'll have, we'll have other shows. We're already planning shows for the coming year. Uh, we'll put out the official word, but I know for a fact that we're going to be working, we're going to encourage an art show on the Gold Rush and Frog Jump. Uh, we want to do an art show in September that has to do with cars, you know, room for the arts, uh, so that we can rather tie in with the Concourse to Elegance yeah. up at Ironstone. Um, and you know, having li you know, living with an artist, they have to have time to create. You can't just say, hey, we're going to have such and such a show next month. Mm -hmm. Okay. You need to give them time to create. So if we let them, ha you know, give them more time and say, this is the show that's coming up. Mm -hmm. And then we'll always have the summer show. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to have a show in October that features health and healing and um, breast cancer and heart disease. You know, just to help get the word out on any number of subjects. That's excellent. What are the challenges that you have? Is it... Time, money, support, what is it that, boy, if you wanted to make this place better, what would you need? Money. Money. So, all right, to that end, you, you're always looking for memberships. Yes. In the Arts Council. Yes. And memberships are very inexpensive from our perspective. It's $35 for an individual, it's $50 for a family, it's $75 for a business. And if you're a student, you can have a $10 membership. Um, Money is what makes programs even better. Mm -hmm. my, my goal, if I had one great big art dream, would be to have the thousands of dollars it would take to have a program called Meet the Masters and be able to take it into all of our local schools where the kids are, and the teachers are introduced to how Georgia O'Keeffe or uh, Homer or um, Picasso or Monet created their artwork and then go back to your classroom on the teacher's schedule, not ours, when it works for the teachers and be able to help the kids re create their own version okay, of you, that. As you described this, I imagined an actor that would go into the classrooms. Is, is this the concept you're thinking Sometimes. of? Sometimes. And say, all right, this is Auguste Rodin. Right. Okay, and this, these are my sculptures. Sometimes. What, yeah? Yeah. There was, there's also a program called Fame where um, you can go in and actually have a student dress as if it is a sculpture. And then the kids can, can draw it or paint it or, or do something of that nature. But it takes a lot of money and it takes a lot of volunteers. I'm not worried about the volunteers. It's Calaveras County. When you put out the word... People show up, but it's an expensive program, and the only reason I know is because when my girls were quite small and we lived in Irvine, they had the opportunity to actually participate in the Meet the Masters art programs for a couple of years, and I have my oldest daughter's Georgia O'Keeffe hanging on my living room wall. Oh, I love it. Yeah. All right, so I was just imagining who I might, if, if I were the actor and I was going to help you with this program, mm -hmm. okay, not that I'm a master, I, I'll be Vincent Van Gogh for you. Yeah, I, okay, I, 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 there, there, there you go, yeah. sure. <laughs> okay. You know, um, I don't know if you've ever, it, it gets us off the subject, but that's what they do at Meet the Mass at um, 
No, what is it? Pageant of the Masters huh. down in Laguna Beach. We'll talk about that another time. That's okay. yes. just extraordinary. I, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and it's a two-hour right. two theatrical presentation. Okay. I love how you talk about, and it's a passion for you, arts and education. But mm -hmm. for those people that are skeptical, mm -hmm. why is art important? Because it taps into a different part of your brain. It helps you think. It helps you expand your ability to look at at the world in a different way. And if for no other reason, it gives you a couple hours of escape. Sometimes we're in a pretty bad place. And sometimes just being able to sit there and um, work on a piece of art for a couple of hours takes you out of that bad place and, and gives you that fresh air. Uh, it's, it's all part of the creative thought process. And I don't know how many times we have to say, the studies have shown that the kids who play an instrument, the kids who sing, the kids who paint, their SATs are higher, their scores are higher, they're more productive in their community. Um, the, the reasons art is important are endless. And if for no other reason, on a Friday afternoon, it can give a teacher a break and say, okay, everybody's gonna paint was one of my favorite things in uh, fifth grade with Mrs. Hurley. Mm -hmm. I could tell you that I, I work in oncology. Mm -hmm. Art is healing. Yes. Yes, it, it, it totally is. And for people that are s dealing with suffering and grief and pain and mm -hmm. bad things are happening in their life, if they can just spend a few minutes being creative. Yes. Even if it's, you know, like, you've seen the adult coloring books. My patients yeah. love those. Yeah. And this is art for everyone, and, and, and everyone can do that. You bet. And, and so we have that at our, our cancer center. It's, it's also why we reach out to veterans um, on, on occasion, and we want to start trying to bring it back. We have offered art lessons for veterans at no cost. We also have scholarships. If, ve if there's a veteran out there who's always wanted to take a wood burning class, a metal, metallurgy class, anything at the, our local community colleges, and he goes, yeah, but where am I gonna come up with the tuition? Come ask us. That's we great. have scholarships for veterans to take art, yep. and it helps. You can, you can see the value. You can see the value mm -hmm. in art in Calaveras County. If you'd like to make a donation, calaverasarts.org, and what's your phone number? 209-754-1774, uh, and if you want to mail us a donation, it's P.O. Box 250, San Andreas 95249. Okay, and come by the gallery. And come by the gallery. Come shop. Yes. Come have fun. It's Christmas. Yes, it and, is. And, and everyone loves the, all the, you know, the, the personal pieces of art that... These are, you know, things that you can put in your home that have meaning to you that you mm -hmm. didn't buy at Walmart. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's not something you saw hanging in the in the bedroom of a hotel. Mm -hmm. And the uh, and, and and the uh, the bike ride is called Ride and Walk for Art, March twentieth. It's the third Sunday of the month. Um, we're counting on good weather, so put out all the good vibes you can. It can rain afterwards. <laughs> um, and it, it's got a chicken in the barrel um, lunch. Yeah. And it's just a wonderful time. Clear your head. Go for a bike ride and help us raise money for arts programs for our local schools. Every dime stays mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And the Ovations Performing Arts Series is coming up? Yes, it is. Yes. So. Um, check our webpage. Okay. Because, as you, as you noted, it was a big chunk to bite off to be able to find another venue, find the sound and tack, etc. Um, and so we've been nailing down all the dates, but you'll be able to find them on our webpage by mid-December and start buying tickets. Okay, quickly. When are you ever going to take a break? Oh, uh, Christmas to New Year's. Really? That's your break? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's coming up. It's coming up. My kids are coming up from L.A., my daughter's already here, my other daughter's already here, and I am taking a break from Christmas to New Year's. Well, you deserve it because you have a lot on your plate. And all of Calaveras County appreciates uh, all the work that you do because uh, it, it makes it a, a better place to live. Thank you. So this is Kathy Mazzaferro 
the executive director, is that That's correct? That's correct. Of the Calaveras Arts Council, and, and, uh, and she's there for you. So yes, I am. If you need anything. So thank, thank you so you. much for coming in. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching Inside View. Thank you.